think what this country has been through over the last few years has brought, it's almost like 1994 came and we saw the Rainbow Nation and we all sang Kumbaya and we all got happy and got complacent and we forgot about it. And I think we're now in that next phase where we we becoming aware of the fact that you can't just leave things. You've got to be aware of what's happening around you. You've got to understand our constitution and what rights it affords you. But you've also got to understand, most importantly, is your responsibilities in terms of that. And this is what this is about. You know, what are your responsibilities to ensure that every South African has what they need to have in terms of our Bill of Rights? And not just in an in a academic way. So one of the things we're doing with this festival as well is taking the Bill of Rights and unpacking it. So what does freedom mean? What does equality mean? You know, what does it mean in real terms? How do you concretize that? Because people can kind of throw the jargon around, but do we really get down to the grassroots meaning? And do we really get down to what can you and I do to make a difference? This was probably the most infamous prison site in the country, one of the most infamous prison sites. And it's a site that has held many of our struggle leaders, but it's also a site that imprisoned ordinary people who were incarcerated because of apartheid laws. So this site was a site of horror and atrocities, and people spoke about it as, you know, the person has disappeared. Then the first place you looked for the person was in number four or the mortuary. So it's a really a place of that really is steeped in the, the history of this country and the atrocities that were inflicted on people, particularly black people in this country. So Constitution Hill runs many, many programs, but we decided about two, two years ago that we needed a signature kind of event or festival that really focused on the core work that we do here, which is really about engaging society around issues of human rights, of social justice, celebrating the gains we made, but also helping to pursue the struggles of things we still have to change. Because we're very, very aware that, you know, it's not all hunky-dory. There are still issues that people are facing and what we do to actually open up those discussions. What we're very clear about with Constitution Hill is that we're not a destination. Yes, this might be Constitution Hill and there's 27 acres and there's various bits of infrastructure on it. But what we like to consider ourselves to be is a movement. So we are movements of social change. We are an activist movement. And how do we play that role? We're also celebrating 25 years of democracy. But as part of the discussions and the dialogues that are happening in the festival, it's about, okay, so what have we achieved? Where have we fallen flat? What do we still need to do? So in the social forum up there, there are going to be debates on the land issues and various other debates that the different organizations are bringing to the table.